weekend. At least we'll see the sun mid 40s. That's it for weather. Now back to the news desk. And thank you. A quick update from Waukesha. According to our partners at Patch, the uh, the shooting incident is over. There is a man in custody. Yeah, we are told unconfirmed reports now that it could be an older gentleman, but we again we're working to confirm that. But it appears at this point, at least, it's over. That's the good news. Now to a story that would be a lead story on any other day. Beaten because of his yard sign, the son of a state senator is the victim of an attack perhaps motivated by his presidential preference. The state Democratic Party has condemned the attack either way. Fox 6's Mike Lowe reports now from Whitewater. For the better part of two years, Wisconsin has been arguably the most politically polarized state in the country. From the protests to the recalls, the toxic atmosphere has seeped into every corner of the state. But it is here, on this block in Whitewater, where the tensions may have reached their low point. A state senator's son was viciously attacked right here, apparently because of his political beliefs. If I hadn't had a Mitt Romney sign in my yard, I, I never would have been targeted. Sean Kedzie is battered and bruised, but not broken. He is recovering from an attack that sent him to the emergency room. He says he was beaten after he confronted two men who were stealing his Romney Ryan yard sign. During the beating, they said stuff like, uh, F Romney, Romney sucks. Go Obama. The 22 year old is six feet tall and 195 pounds, but it was two on one, and he says he was placed in a chokehold and nearly lost consciousness. It was choking me so hard I couldn't even get the words please out of my mouth just to beg them to stop. Amidst the commotion, a neighbor came out and the two attackers ran away. It gives you a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach. Sean is the son of Republican State Senator Neil Kedzie a legislator who is a veteran of the bruising battles at the Capitol and who has received death threats for his vote on Act 10. I think there's a random act that happened with my son. It wasn't because of who he is, but it was what he believed in. I'm definitely going to put signs back up in my yard. I'm not going to let these people uh, intimidate me. Police here in Whitewater are looking for those responsible. Meantime, the Kedzie family is looking for something more important, healing, both for their son and for this politically divided state. Reporting in Whitewater, Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Mike. Democrats put this statement out today. It says this kind of illegal behavior is completely unacceptable. It is our sincere hope that the perpetrators of this assault are quickly identified, found, and charged. We're going to take a quick break and be right back.